Indian Empress, the 32 stateroom replica steamship cruising the magnificent St. Lawrence and Ottawa rivers between historic Kingston, Montreal, Quebec City, and Ottawa. Welcome aboard the Canadian Empress. The Empress is a grand ship with a warm, friendly personality. It is not a replica of any specific vessel, but it is a composite of many steamships that were common to the St. Lawrence River and the Ottawa Rivers about 100 years ago. The St. Lawrence begins at Kingston, at the foot of Lake Ontario, and it flows about 775 miles to the vast Atlantic Ocean. For miles upon miles, it acts as a natural boundary between the good friends of the United States and Canada. The Ottawa River was once a trade and transportation route. Come cruise with us on the mighty St. Lawrence River and the tranquil Ottawa through the very heart of central Canada, Canada's most beautiful scenery. Pick your favorite scene. This was a great trip. My wife and I both enjoyed it. We just love sitting outside, watching the scenery go by. It, it's been it's been a great a great cruise, uh, and uh, and so informative of the history of Canada that I was not aware of. So I, I'm very thankful for this St. Lawrence cruise. Welcome to the wheelhouse of the Canadian Empress. My name is Captain John Chomniak. I'm one of the captains aboard this uh, great vessel. And even though a vessel built uh, early in the 1900s, of which the Canadian Empress is to replicate, there were only a few things that uh, a vessel of that time would have been found with. And that is the ship's compass, the ship's wheel, and the ship's telegraph. However, with today's technology and regulations, we are required to carry an abundance of technology, including uh, GPS, electronic charts, VHF radios, radars, amongst many other things. From here, the captain communicates with the chief officer down below decks in the engine room with its twin 365 horsepower Volvo propulsion engines and twin 135 kilowatt generators. This is a busy place at all times. Unlike ocean cruising, we have to be in active control of the ship at all times. And of course, we're never really more involved than when we traverse any of the locks on the seaway. Seaway locks are similar in size. They're 80 feet wide and 766 feet long. The ship enters the lock, the gates are closed, the lines are secured to the bollards and to the lock walls. And then the valves are opened in the chamber and the water flows into the chamber through openings in the bottom of the up river walls. Most ships can navigate a lock in about 45 minutes. Now that you have looked around outside the Canadian Empress, I want you to see your accommodation. There are 32 staterooms on the Canadian Empress on two decks. All are completely above the waterline. All staterooms are outboard and each has windows that open wide. The staterooms feature individual climate control, two-channel sound system, shower and private facilities. There's even a hairdryer. It's fun to wake up, lift the bedroom curtain and see an island drifting by. Oh, accommodations I thought were, were great. Uh, I had a good view out my window and no, I, it, was, it was wonderful. As the New York Times wrote about us, sleep comes easily on a ship surrounded by a thousand islands and a million stars. Your passage covers full onboard accommodation with maid service in every stateroom as well as all onboard entertainment, tours and admissions on shore excursions. Let me tell you first about some of the offshore excursions. We take you to Upper Canada Village where you step back in time over 130 years to experience life in a bustling 1860s community. At Park Omega, you have an opportunity to see wildlife native to Canada, bears, wolves, and you'll even be up close and personal with some pretty big animals. Montreal sightseeing, Quebec by night. Shore excursions to these and other special places along our rivers are included at no additional cost and all gratuities for local tour guides and drivers are handled by the cruise line. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm your purser and cruise director on board the Canadian Empress. My crew and I are here to make sure you're going to have a wonderful holiday 
to spoil you. Uh, we've got great food on board, wonderful entertainment, and lots of good things lined up for you. So please join us for a wonderful cruise on the St. Lawrence or Ottawa rivers. Great. Well, this has been a wonderful experience, and um, I think the trips have been particularly interesting. I have been to Ontario several times before, but this has certainly been a very comprehensive visit. People are pampered every step of the way. On longer cruises, one of the highlights is the evening of big band sounds and dancing. On other evenings, a light professional and fun-loving entertainment will add just the right touch to your cruise experience. Music, starlight, and good company seem just a little more special when you enjoy them aboard the Canadian Empress. I'm sitting at the bar in the Grand Salon. It's quiet now. We shot this part without our passengers aboard. This is a gathering place. A gathering place for games, for dancing, horse races. We do all sorts of things in this wonderful place, but particularly it's for meals. And the kitchen is just right over there. Welcome to our galley. Every dish is prepared here in the ship's kitchen. We use fresh, in-season fruit and vegetables. The fresh bread often comes from the pioneer ovens at Upper Canada Village. Delicious desserts are prepared with pride and care. We do what we can to accommodate restricted diet requirements. We know how to make your ship your home on the river. St. Louis Cruises have done a great job of uh, organizing for special needs of any kind. Things like special uh, meals, salt-free diets, cholesterol-free diets. The ship's log is, is a, an excellent addition to the St. Lawrence River Cruises. It will definitely uh, be on our bookshelf at home and become a welcome addition to our bookshelf. The people, the food, the field trips, and it's just been a pleasurable experience. So now you've met all of us and toured our ship and witnessed just some of the amazing scenery. We hope you will make the St. Lawrence Cruise Lines and the Canadian Empress part of your vacation plans soon. For more information on the St. Lawrence Cruise Lines, visit our website at www.stlawrencecruiselines.com.